being a food processor, you just, it's always got to be perfect. I mean, what we make today is shipping tonight. Hazy Camps is a private label wholesale meat processing and distribution facility. We have about 170 employees right now and we service mid to large grocery retailers. We didn't really have much previous technology. It was mostly production equipment. We just wanted to get stuff cut and wrapped. Over the past couple years, our customer demand has grown exponentially and the labor market has tightened in our area. So we knew we needed to approach technology to help us address some of these labor efficiencies we were seeing. We wanted to go our highest volume moving areas, which is the grind line, and our highest labor areas, which would be our kebabs. It's a very high labor item. It's a very specialty item. People like it to look handmade, so we needed it to look handmade. We wanted to make sure, because we are in the food business, that it has to be right to maintain the quality and even potential food safety. Previously, in years past, we made all our kebabs handmade, but we have not been able to find the people to make those kebabs. So we brought this machine in, we got it set up. There was some growing pains to it. This was our first step into automation. Scared some people at first, but the thing we tried to message with this is that we, we were doing this for them. We did not want to burn out our employees. Previously, a really good kebabber could make a thousand kebabs in a day. This machine will put five or six operators on it and it can do six to 8,000 kebabs in a day. The main benefits of implementing these technologies are certainly the efficiencies we get out of them and also the quality of our products improves. I think the main benefits of the automation we've done is we've kept our product flexibility and kept our product quality while becoming more efficient and more agile and more aggressive in today's market. We needed to find ways to control our costs while hiring more labor and paying people more. We've seen the benefit in our sales, we've seen the benefit in the bottom line, and now we're able to pass some of that benefit on to our customers.